here with highly touted prospect Luis Feliciano. June 14th is your fight day, man. Just talk to us about training camp. Update us on that. Everything is going great. Uh, you know, we pretty much took no breaks from our last fight. You know, we've been getting great work. Uh, everything's been going well. So we're ready. We're more than ready. We've been getting great sparring at, uh, here in LA and in Big Bear. So we're more than ready. So for the fans that haven't seen you fight yet, just describe your style to them real quick and let them know what they can expect on fight night. I could do a little bit of both. Um, I could, you know, I could box when I got to. I'll, you know, I'll fight when we got to. It's all about using the head. You know, I'm, I'm an intelligent fighter. You know, I always tell people I'm not the fastest fighter. I'm not the strongest fighter. But you know, my 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 my, uh, my style is always try to be the smartest fighter in there, and that's kind of like, like our style. So it's a, you know, I'm more of a boxer puncher. Could do a little bit of both. And Ben Lira is the head coach, or is he just assistant? yes? Ben Lira is my coach. Yes. Talk to us about training with Ben Lira. Oh, it's uh, it's. Truly a great opportunity. It's a blessing, you know. Uh, ben Lira, who's you know been in this sport for so long, for over 50 years, and uh, I'm truly blessed, truly blessed to be, you know, to have him in my side, and I'm learning so much with him. And every day is a learning process with him. Being up there in Big Bear, have you trained alongside Gennady, or have you seen him train up to a bit? And yes, how's I've, that experience? Yeah, no, it's great. Uh, you know, training in Big Bear, uh, you're surrounded by champions, by guys who who are just, you know, so pivotal to this sport right now, like Gennady, like Murad, and so many other guys, Dennis Shavikov, and training along prospects like Alex Salcedo, Ryan Martin, all these other guys, you know, getting having the opportunity to work with them. Uh, it's a, definitely a learning experience, and it's a good one. Uh, so it's definitely a blessing. What are your goals this year as a fighter? What do you want to accomplish in your career? Um, well, I definitely aim that this year, you know, I want to hit that prospect of the year. You know, that's, you know, I know I only got six fights, but that's my, you know, that's my goal, you know, get yeah. there and then, and hopefully we crack three or four more fights this year. We This will be my third one. So uh, we understand that, you know, we're in no rush. This is, you know, little by little, but I like the way we're going. We're going at a really good pace and they're moving real well. Just a quick background talk. Um, how did you get into boxing first? How did you walk into a boxing gym? So uh, I started at seven years old. I mean, I was already kind of involved in the sport at an early age, about three years old. Um, I was a big fan of Tito Trinidad. You know, we come from a, you know, I'm Puerto Rican, so family. You know, Native of Puerto Rico? Or, or? I was born here in the States, okay. but, you know, I'm, I'm really, really close. We have close ties to the island. Uh, most of my family's over there. Um, but yeah, you know, uh, my family loves boxing and that's how we got into it uh, you know boxing was always on at the on the house at the household and uh, it started you know early and then at seven years old I finally told my dad like hey I want to start fighting and he took me to the gym and I never stopped and I've been doing it ever since what does Cotto's career mean you mentioned Tito Trinidad he inspired you what does Cotto's career mean to you oh Cotto was absolutely he's a legend you know he's actually the most accomplished Puerto Rican fighter you know uh, with, or five division I, yeah I believe so so uh, he's definitely, you know, uh, uh, another another guy that I looked up to, Miguel Cotto, and I thank him and his promotional team for allowing me to fight in Puerto Rico as well, alongside with Golden Boy Promotions. Uh, just grateful to, you know, have the opportunity to fight back home, uh, fight in front of my family, all my friends. So. Um, Definitely, he's he, he's a he's a special fighter, and uh, he's always gonna be you know there, regarded as one of the best fighters ever come from Puerto Rico. Did you ever interact with them? And if so, did he ever give you any advice? And what was that advice? I haven't had the the chance to interact with him like that. And uh, our last fight, uh, I got to meet him personally for the first time at the press conference. It hasn't been like that, but uh, you know he, he's a great guy, Miguel Cotto, and he's done so much for this sport, and he's gonna he's continuing to do more, providing you know the fans, especially the fans in Puerto Rico with great fights with Miguel Cotto Promotions. Yeah. Last thing to the fans, um, last words, family back home, and then tell them where to follow you on social media. Definitely. Uh, uh, you guys can follow me on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, Luis underscore Feliciano. And, uh, and yeah, uh, you know, check out my career. We're, you know, we're steady, and, and definitely we want to represent, you know, both obviously our, fa our, our people in Milwaukee and then in Puerto Rico, my family and, and friends in Puerto Rico so you know shout out to you guys and uh, I appreciate all the support thank you